guys, uh, it's a couple days early. I still don't have like the hardware or the bushings for the differential that I need yet, but I'm too excited. I want to start wrenching, so I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to drag all this stuff outside. I am so excited to start working on this stuff. I got to, um, I'm going to put some stuff on today, but I got to go take um, things to the auto hobby shop on base tomorrow and press these bushings in so tomorrow I'll be able to do pretty much like a full assembly with the old hardware like like a mock assembly I guess uh, I'll still have to switch out the hardware and slap the bushings in the differential but we'll get it like lined up as much as possible I don't know if I'll, I'm actually gonna have to take the axles yeah I am gonna have to take the axles off for sure well actually we'll see we'll see it's gonna be fun though. All right guys, so this is not gonna go as I planned. I'm glad I read the instructions first. So basically what the instructions are saying is um, when you go to install the subframe, the only thing installed on the subframe is some of the clips, like for the brake lines and stuff, which I'll, I'll show you, which is pretty cool. They include some like plastic clips that just kind of screw onto some nubs and whatever. And then the only thing that's gonna be on there is the differential. So you, you install the differential into the subframe, and then you put the subframe up, you align it, you pretty much uh, put the bolts in all the way and then lower it a couple millimeters all around, attach the drive shaft, tighten, it, tighten down the drive shaft, and then uh, I think from there you tighten the subframe in a certain sequence so like the whole drive lines line up and then from there you put in the axles and the arms and torque everything down and after like I think it says 60 miles you uh, after your alignment and everything's set properly you go and do a bolt check so it's gonna be a lot of stuff there in the future but right now what we're gonna do we're gonna get everything off this old subframe for sure I'm going to like I said measure like take arms off that and get these adjustable arms to the proper length or at least you know close and then I'm reading through here about the adjustability for the bump steer and all that shenanigans um, you guys can like pause on this if you want to read it um, boom okay so for me to adjust my bump steer but the they said with two degrees of camber in the back which is what I run for now um, so this is for toe you need to move this remove this this one it's just in there with the zip tie and um put in the three millimeter shims and it, it's going to raise the mounting point that the whole of this is going to go up like three millimeters so you have adjustability there you have that same adjustability here and then you got two different places where the control arm can go um there's a lot of stuff it's pretty freaking neat it's a little confusing reading through it oh and then so you got these clips that that screw on for the brake lines back here and like some cars have some type of vent line so there's that and then you got your little uh, brackets for the hard brake line boom it's got little screws for that you got a couple sticky ones for the brake lines that run across the back here the back of this bar you can see like there's one right there and one right there and there's another one over there I think I broke so, yeah, and then zip ties for that. And these go around, um, I think if you have like some type of other line, but they're like already split. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the hard lines. It's just to like protect it at certain spots where it might like sit here and hit. So it has, in the picture it has one like here, 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 and a couple other places. So we'll get that done eventually. And we gotta transfer over, like I said, the level sensor and these detail, these, Instructions are pretty darn detailed, so I don't want to do stuff out of order and cause more work for myself. So, um, yeah, so we're going to start with like the control arms and toe arms. Like I said, get those out, compare, measure, and then just have these sitting on the side ready to go when the time comes. Uh, like I said, diff bushings will be here Thursday. You can like officially install the diff in here, and then we can get it mounted up in place at least with the old hardware until the new hardware comes in. I just gotta swap the hardware out. At least it'll be like aligned and kind of, an, actually I don't even know if I wanna do that because I had to order a new, like this rubber piece for the drive shaft. I got a new one for the front and the back. Um, figured I might as well while we're here because this one looks like trash. So, they were like $350 a piece. I'm a little upset. 
Hopefully, it don't take forever to get here. But uh, you can, yeah, you can see like on the brake line. Look at these hard edges where they want you to put the protector stuff. All right. So after reading the instructions a whole bunch of times, this is a plus three, a plus three. So it's going to go three millimeters higher on this. Already did it to this one. Uh, we can compare. This is a neutral one, and this is a, a plus. So you can see how offset it is. That's gonna let's see. So that's what's going in there, and then these neutral ones will go to here, and then I don't need to use any at all up here because I'm gonna use the lower mount. Um, they say it's better for camber. So sweet. Go ahead and throw these little brackets on because I want to show them off. And I was going to take the entire axle out of the hub and the, the differential, but to get that main bolt out the front, normally the car would be on the ground with the e brake on and I could break the torque of that big ass bolt, but uh, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to take it out from the other side and just the hub will have the axle attached to it and I'll have to work around that to press that bushing out down there. But uh, that's gonna have to be the plan unless I were to go buy some like super strong impact but my impact ain't that strong and impacts for a lot of money and I don't have money like that right now. Especially with needing this transmission stuff still so we'll see how this goes. took entirely too long to break. Two minutes and 31 seconds to break loose. So one ahead, I got this arm fully off. This one's, I just gotta finish taking this nut off here for this control arm, but went ahead and took this trailing arm off. Now this one will be for sale, this pair. It's uh, Super Pro bushings. And uh, other than being a little dirty and you know, some little spots where the paint's worn off they're good they're great there's nothing wrong with the bushings at all like they're still hard as a rock like they're great some by these also have uh subframe inserts i gotta dig out here um they were also be for sale what else here um these caps seem to go onto the new arms and they are directional 
Oh, here's what I wanted to show you. So, these two bolts, they're the same length and same head size, but this one has like a lip on it right there. Can you see? And it actually goes and centers this, this top one, like that. It slides into there. So, if you guys are ever doing this, just make sure you're putting the right screws back where they came out of. Like these, I'll stick back in. And like it's the book says to pretty much mount the diff on here and then get this up and centered and then I'll go through I'll, the, the hubs will be like the first thing I go to stick on so basically everything attaches to that I'll get the axle on and then probably like the control arm or something and then start zipping everything together so a lot of this stuff is real tight and it's hot in the garage and I gotta record everything so everything's taking forever but so far so good Sorry, I meant to do a time lapse and I totally forgot. <laughs> but uh, so I pretty much have this whole, once I get this bolt out right here, this whole knuckle brake assembly axle will slide out. And then I'm going to get this other arm out of there and then get the sway bar off and then uh, this arm and then the same on the other side. Whew. We're making good progress though. We got a bunch of stuff off, some bolts where they're going to go. It's going pretty smooth. It's just a lot of these bolts are tight and then not having deep wall sockets that are big enough or, you know, whatever. Just finding ways around working by yourself and hand tools and stuff. You should be able to just... in there because I'm getting all new hardware but when it comes to actually I have a spreadsheet from Paul over at Shop Dap that has like all, all the bags will have the part numbers on them and I can just reference that to the sheet and know where they belong but um, this makes it kind of easy long bolt you know a lot of these are these are like almost the same this one has a lip this one's kind of long so progress all right this could go really good or really bad. I need to flip this thing upside down so I can take the sway bar off and the wishbones. And then the only thing left is the diff. But, oh, and the level sensor. But I need to flip it. So, uh, see how this goes. Now I got better access to get to the sway bar, the level sensor, um, these, those, get these out. I'll take this, no, no, I don't know how I'll do with the diff yet, but, exciting. All right, got everything I need off the subframe, basically. Uh, these inserts are like super hard to pull out, so I'm gonna have to hit them from a ha with a hammer from the backside. I just broke loose this one diff mount over here in the corner. So I'm gonna flip it, break the other two loose, and then, uh, yeah, get the bolts out, get the diff out, get that sat on the new subframe, and then uh, call it a day, because I can't further install. I gotta wait for bushings for this, and then I gotta go take other shit tomorrow to go get bushings put in. So, almost to my stopping point, and I'm freaking exhausted. Whew! Boy, am I ever exhausted. Got this bad boy out. So much dirt. 
and grime. Man, I am going to clean the shit out of this before it goes in. Don't worry. I'm going to clean everything. But I'm about to just slide it in there and uh, yeah, I just want to see what it looks like in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to call it a day. Tomorrow we'll do weight comparisons and uh, then the next day we'll do bushings on this. Oh, we're going to do bushings on those tomorrow as well. So, so many things. Well, guys, I just sat it in there for now, but it's a rough mock-up of how it's going to look in there. I'm going to clean it real good, like I said, and then they actually welded on this little box here for the vents. Oh, I'm getting some fluid out of there. But, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have had this thing upside down, huh? Yeah. Anyway. Neat. So pretty. So many things to do. So, um, this bushing right here, that's got to get swapped out for wherever I put them. Ah, over here. I believe the silver one is that one, and then the black one is in, is right here on this arm. So that gets rid of that bushing, gets rid of that bushing, which is where this connects. So keep this a lot more stable. Um, yeah, getting rid of the bushings there, the bushings there, bushings here. Hell yeah, bushings there. All right, next day, as promised, we are at the auto hobby shop on base. So I got some tools ready to get the truck pulled up in here. I found, I think, what's going to be the proper sizes to press. See, it'll be this bushing on both. On both of them and then that bushing on both and I got my current the new bushings are like frozen in the car I froze them all day at work so hopefully they slip right in but we're gonna try this it's a little bit smaller than the bushing itself but it should work so we'll see watch me struggle so this is like my least favorite tool to use ever but uh, using these two to get this out. I got one out already. I tried to do it on the the, the hub assembly and just the, how, the way how thick this is and stuff. I'm gonna have to mess around a whole bunch but while the bushings I have to replace are still cold I want to at least get some out and some in so go ahead and show you guys how I do this one. It's pretty simple how it works it's just annoying to line up and stuff so one of these goes on each of so you gotta have one that's about the same um, diameter as the bushing to push it out so these kind of match up this is able to push on that and then you need one that's bigger on the opposite side so it can be pushed through so that's basically how this tool works it just the bushings in there you're using one side to push 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 and it pops into there and you're done so all this does is apply pressure so anybody that's never used this tool it's not fun I do not recommend it if a friend of yours ever asks you to help do bushings, you better agree on, on some beer or something beforehand. This shit is a pain. It's not fun. At least I'm not a fan. I don't know. I don't do bushings too often, but when I do, it's always a pain in the ass. Especially when trying to find the right sizes and then you gotta deal with clearance issues and this and that. And once you get on there like this, it's kind of like super annoying to line up. Make sure this is sitting there on that bushing right before you snug it down. Okay, looks good. Start cranking over here. Hopefully you guys can see it decently. Let's get a little close up here. This shit works. So, this whole assembly is still. It's kind of a pain in the ass, too. Sorry about all the noise. See how, like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of like two pieces at the end there. Honestly, this is probably the easiest bushing I've ever done. Not gonna lie. If all of them were that easy, I probably wouldn't do that so much. I need to get one of these. This would be nice to, to push the bushings out the differential, but I didn't feel like bringing that. 
I should have just threw it in the truck bed and did it here. I don't know what I was really thinking, but I'm gonna go home and probably just set them on fire. Give me something, something cool to do. So I'm gonna take this out like the whole way. That and then your bushings here. Now we're gonna go find the matching one and hopefully just drop it on in there. Okay, real quick before these bushings thin out. Old, new, you can see the difference here. You can take this off. This is just like a spherical bushing in there. All metal. All right, this has like a little thin piece of aluminum around the outside, some really shitty rubber. And every like bushing you get rid of is this like, this can have like so much play in it once it's stressed out like in a corner. And getting rid of that is gonna keep the alignment basically in check. It all throughout any any corner or turn or at least like way better than what it was before so super excited and with these cold the reason you freeze them because when metal gets cold it gets smaller so uh, you can get them into wherever you're putting a little bit easier so I'm gonna uh, hammer these in real quick and we'll attempt to do these hubs <laughs> Pushing going in, hopefully it goes in straight. It should. Only real concern is here there used to be like a gap like down in here with the old bushing there was a decent gap so I might have to like spread this apart a little bit but uh she's in there so I took the bottom piece out of this so I haven't would have enough clearance to fit took that off but it turns out the bushing is the same size as the tool what are the chances at least it's out. The least fun bushing here. So I really should have brought my diff with me. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. But. We'll sit here all afternoon and. Oh boy. Hopefully the other bushings are still cold and they should drop right in.
forgot to compare the bushings. I apologize. But uh, the new one's going in here. Pretty much looks the same as the other one. It's just silver. So pressing that bad boy in. The camera's about to die. So I'm trying to keep this short. Yo, so I get home, pull the diff out here, getting it cleaned up, getting it prepped. I was about to grab this pan thing I have and set it on there and then like burn these bushings out. But uh, I got a guy messaged me, PB Blaze, on Instagram. We were talking about the inserts for the diff and the rear end. So I went to go like relook at my order and I accidentally ordered um, diff inserts. So there's going to be like inserts to go into the diff and uh, help keep it real stable. I looked at the video the ECS put out on it. Sorry, the sun's super bright. I looked at the video the ECS put out on it and it looks really good. It, it keeps it in place like a lot more stiff. So, I mean, and these are going to be the only bushings on the rear end. And these, I mean, they're already stiff. Like you can't move these like at all with your hand. What would I mean? Obviously, they got to withstand like tons of torque. So my hand probably wouldn't be able to do it, but... Either way, inserts will be here tomorrow and I don't have to take these out and it comes with new hardware so I can actually torque this down to the subframe and then we can install the subframe tomorrow. So, really, I guess that's the end of this video. Um, yeah. Next video you guys will see, I'm going to start mounting all this shit. Hardware should be here soon. I got to get uh, the new bushings for the Guibo thing on the drive shaft. I ordered front and rear shop dab and then all the hardware for all the arms and stuff so as soon as the rest of that stuff comes in I can throw all the rest of these arms and stuff under there but I gotta mount the subframe and the diff and then the drive shaft and then once that's all tight and torqued down then I can put all the arms on you gotta align the uh, drivetrain first so anyway any questions comments concerns of course as always drop them down below you guys have been watching so much content I appreciate it. Um, numbers are way up. We got merch coming, like good merch. Like the guy that made the logo for the channel, he also made like tons of other really cool shit and I gave him some ideas and he's gonna work with it. So hopefully we get some merch going and then, yeah, and we can do more things with this car because I'm lacking funds. There's a lot I wanna do, so. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip flop. Well, here's a little bit of more chatter for the MVPs out there still watching, but man, like I can't begin to explain. Like I've been dreaming about doing this subframe and arms and all this for so long, and then actually like doing it. Like I'm doing it. Like it's crazy to me. Like in my head, like once you think about it, like I've been dreaming about doing this <clears throat> for so long. I um, finally get to do it, and it's like holy shit. <laughs> it's crazy. I never thought I'd see my garage like this with my car in so many pieces. Like, I still need to buy brackets for the seats and like harness bar and harnesses and so many things to do. Y'all stay tuned.